Hi Revolution Golfers, Andrew Rice here. Uh, I wanted to talk today a little bit about pitching and controlling the quality of the strike. So often if golfers are struggling with their wedge game, their problem is they're not getting the club to interact in harmony with the ground. It's either digging into the ground a little bit too much or they're missing the ground entirely and zinging that ball over the back of the green. So a couple of pointers today to help you with your wedge game and help you to manage that strike on the back of the golf ball. If you can strike these shots well, you're going to be a good pitcher. I know that. Let's take a look. Starting with address. Quite important really. I know for years I taught people to get the ball back in their stance, get the weight well forward, and as a result the hands got forward and that really led to a very sharp descending angle into the golf ball where this club would tend to get stuck in the ground and the player would take a lot of divot. It is possible to hit good shots like that. Just the frequency, the consistency level of those good shots is greatly decreased. You've got to be too perfect. This approach is going to enable you to be more consistent because it actually makes it easier. How do we go about it? Here's what I'd like to see. Set up with the ball in the middle of your stance. Your feet, depending on the length of the shot, are approximately a club head width apart. My weight, slightly favoring my front foot, 55, 45. As a result, the hands are ever so slightly in front of the golf ball. We're setting up this way to deter that club from having that sharp angle of attack into the ground. I want that club coming in like a plane landing on a runway where it's going to be shallowing out and really meshing, matching up with the ground. So this setup is going to facilitate that. Now the motion. Certainly if I get a lot of wrist action here, what goes up? club head wise must come down so we're going to really steepen that angle of attack with a tremendous amount of wrist action let's try to keep that wrist action to a minimum I think a great example for us to look at is somebody like a Steve Stricker who has a tremendous short game and he really doesn't use a lot of wrists that creates that wider lower longer flat spot at the bottom of the arc and the most important factor for our motion, for our movement, our swing here, is to make sure that we keep our chest moving through the hip. As soon as our chest slows down, our hands, the handle of the club stops going up and we tend to get a little bit too much wrist action down at the bottom, which is always going to encourage us to get the club stuck in the ground. So here's what it should look like. Ball middle to perhaps slightly forward feet fairly narrow, weight just a touch on the front foot. I want to feel my chest keep moving. And you can see there I've disturbed the grass but it's not a dig. I haven't got this club stuck in the ground. I need to get my sole of the golf club working in harmony with the ground so that I can manage that strike on the golf ball. As you know, if you're striking the ball well on your wedge shots, you're pitching and chipping very nicely. Hopefully these tips, at address and in the motion, keep that chest moving throughout the motion, will enable you to get some cleaner, crisper strikes on the golf ball. If you do have any comments, write them below. I'll respond to as many as I can.